Hey YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today we're looking at Soul 601. I've got this new Gigapan that I've just put up uh, recently for you to have a look at. Links for all these things will be below in the description. So check that out and you can link straight to this and look at it up nice and close yourself, even on the mobile phone as well, okay? Um, these are load up pretty easily, these uh, Gigapans. And uh, what we're looking at today basically is, is a few things, but mainly what seems to be something that looks like an insect's nest on this ridge here. Um, what we have, we've got an, a rocky overhang, which is quite eroded and broken. And we've got this hole here with what look like bugs crawling out of it. Now, I'm not saying these are living bugs. These may well be fossilized uh, during, they may well have been fossilized during the cataclysm that happened many thousands of years ago on the surface. Or at least that's when we're told it was. Um, and they look like they're crawling out of this hole here and then crawling up and spreading out up here. Now, the reason I thought these might be insects is because basically you see lots of these little round things on the surface and they're called spherules. Uh, that's what NASA calls them. Um, but you don't see them on the edge of things where they might fall off like this. You just see them on the flat ground. You don't see them on the edge or coming out of these cracks and holes and stuff like that so much, okay? So who knows whether these are or not. But I've got a close-up of them here. And uh, you can decide for yourself whether you think I might be right or wrong. Um, at the end of the day, I don't know. I'm just saying they might be. But when you see the enhanced image, they do look like a nest of insects or a hive or, or some kind of termite mound that, that has been dug into there, perhaps, into this rock, some of which is quite soft. Um, this is dried out clay, and some of it's very, really soft, and you could actually tunnel into it quite easily. Um, but they, they do look like they're crawling out of this thing and then spreading out around here on the surface. And um, there are other insects that I have found, that other people have found on the surface of Mars. I'm going to show you those in a minute, but I'm just going to show you these things quickly. Also in this image, we have this, which looks very much like a head of some kind of alien, Martian or reptilian, don't know. Um, you've got a chameleon-like eye there, a very clear nose with a clear nostril, which can even be seen in the raw image here, and a very long upper lip area, and lips here, and a jaw coming around here. You can actually see the jaw bone sticking out there. Now, this looks like a... a an actual specimen rather than the carving, but I could be wrong. Um, there are lots of each in the area, so sometimes it's hard to tell one from the other. But this, judging by the jewel detail here, this looks like an actual specimen, a fossilized, mud-encrusted head, okay? How big is that? Oh, not very big, about four inches, maybe five. And these insects, by the way, are probably only two or three millimeters across. They look like little balls, but I wonder whether they're actual insects, because there are others in the area, and I'm going to show you those in a minute. Next to that, we also have this thing. And you can see all these things down here marked. I've marked all these things for you, so you can find them on the Gigapan. But the thing we're looking at now is this. Now, this, to me, looks very much like some rendering on a brick or stone wall. Now, we've got the stones here, one here and one here. And in fact, there's more down here, but it's all broken and smashed. But if you look carefully at the side of this thing, we have different material stuck to the side of it, and it's even sticking out here. So this is some kind of concrete rendering, and you can even see it's gone over the corner of the rock here, folded over, or where it was plastered on. This is a type of concrete or plaster or some kind of rendering that was attached to these rocks, probably part of a building. And you can see more of the render down here, I've got an enhancement of it here, which should show up a bit better for you. Let's have a look at that. I'll try not to zoom in too quickly. There we are. And basically, you can see a bit more clearly now. You can see the bluish rock. It's got a sort of texture and grain to it, which is going this way. It's quite rough. It's got lots of cracks in it. It's quite it's quite thin. I would say this is only a, a, about a th three or four, maybe five millimeters thick. And it comes right along the edge of this, what looks like a broken down wall here. And you can even see, if you go right in, let's go right in close, 
to see where the render comes over the, the corner of or the edge, the leading edge or corner of the, the rock here. So this has been attached to it via someone plastering it on or applying it with a tool like you would plaster or concrete or something like that, okay? Or cement or whatever. Um, I don't know exactly what the mixture is, but there are other examples of construction in this area, and this is a good example here. There will be clips coming up of that in a minute of um, some construction in this area, okay? Where you can see different layers of rock, not only the blocks on the inside, but two or three layers of render on top of that as well. Uh, often with a rough render followed by a medium rough and then a fine render on the outside, okay? So they were constructing walls and buildings in this area and this is evidence for it, okay? There's also this stuff here. Now, I don't know what this is, um, but whilst we're on the subject of insects, I, I did wonder whether these little fragments of things down here, which can be seen down below in the gig pan, are also fossilised, possibly fossilised insect or something, because some of them seem to have rather strange details, like little limbs sticking out. Now, is it possible that, that insects were living in this area and they were going about their business and then the cataclysm struck and they were suddenly preserved, frozen and then covered in volcanic ash or radioactive fallout or something like that. It is possible. There are many, many specimens in the area, hundreds and hundreds I've shown so far. Um, so I would think it would still work on a smaller level as well, just as well as a large level, like a skull or, or a person. It's just as likely to happen to much smaller creatures like insects. And some of these are really weird and seem to have very interesting parts to them, but they're very small and it's a bit hard to say either way, really. Um, but you can make your own mind up about that. There's also, also this rather strange thing here with, a, with straight parts to it. This looks like an object, a bit like a, a rifle butt almost, in shape. I'm not saying it is one, but it's shaped like one. And it's got this straight part in it, like a part of something mechanical here, just here. So there's lots of weird things on the ground here. Uh, we'll show you some other examples of insects on Mars. Now, this is one of my favorites. This was spotted by James Tracy a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. And this video is from, actually no, it's, it's uh, four years ago, this was. Um, this was James Tracy's find from that period. And I did this video of it. Now this is what looks like another fossilized insect, which is fossilized in this rock here, which would have probably been some, a lot softer at one point before it dried out in the lake bed. And this looks like an insect pupa. In other words, a juvenile that hasn't yet hatched out and when you get closer, you can actually see it's got big bug-like eyes, okay? This is one of my favourite finds, actually. It's not my find, obviously, but um, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense until you see the enhancement because it's kind of camouflaged like insects would be. There we are. There he is. You see these two big eyes, a mouth area here, and a thorax or body just there, which is quite straight, and a dome-shaped head. So that was cool. That's called Mars Tiny Insect Pupa, R2-D2 Nano Fossil, right? So that's from about four years ago. I mean, to find it amongst all these tiny things is amazing, really. Then we have this thing. Now, this was also found by someone else. I think it was Steve Bolden that found this. Uh, and this was first found two years ago. And now this has gone completely viral, this video. And it's had over a third of a million views uh, in a couple of years, which is pretty good for my channel. And uh, this was spotted by Steve Bolden. I'm just going to play a little bit of this. Because I actually think, this is actually quite small. It looks a long way away, but it's not. It's quite close to the rover. You can actually work this out. And I think this is an insect. I don't think it's a UFO, as in a spaceship or, or whatever. I don't think it's a bird either. I actually think this is an insect. Why? Because we have three sections, much like insects do. A possible abdomen with a sting a body and a head, or the other way around, I don't know, but it's very, very strange. I'll play a bit more. And when you see the enhancements, it, it's very small and it's very hard to focus on it. But when you see it in negative, you can see the different parts more clearly. That to me looks like a flying insect. And the reason we can't see the wings is because the, the uh, detail in the 
photographs is not great enough. In other words, the camera is too low res to pick up the moving wings, okay? Because they are quite low res images. They're only like a thousand by thousand pixels or something like that, these particular ones. They're small. By today's standards, they're tiny, in fact. Really small images. And uh, you can see the three different parts. So I, I do think this is probably an insect and not a UFO or something else, but I could be wrong. There it is. So check that out. UFO seen on Mars, bird, insect, or drone. And that's from two years ago. I'll put links to these at the end of this video. So you can click on the, the video card links at the end, okay? Near the outro at the end of the video. So there was that. And then there was this thing, which I found myself. This is one of my own finds. This was from two years ago, July 2018. Now, this to me looks like a large termite or bug of some sort, or insect, large insect. This is inches in size. This is probably about two inches or, or something across from here to here. And with this, you can actually see it up close. And you can see the eyes and the mandibles. Not huge mandibles, but you can see what look like mandibles here at the front, just here. And what approximate to some sort of limbs down here as well. I mean, this is not a huge quality image, of course. Uh, a lot of these images are pretty poor quality, but this was fairly close to the rover. And in fact, um, when the rover took photos the day or a day or so later, it was gone. And basically this thing is by what looks like a termite mound here. It may look like a rock to you, but a lot of these rocks I don't think are rocks. I think they're fossilized termite mounds, some of them, or just termite mounds, right? This big mound. Now, I was taking it at a funny angle, this picture. But there are t other termite mounds in the area, or what I think may be termite mounds, or insect hives or mounds, okay? This being one of them. And they, they've got this strange texture to them. And it's about a foot tall. It's not huge, right? Now, this is a small insect mound, which probably means that the insects inside it would be tiny or quite small. Whereas that thing I just showed you was big, okay? Just the head on it was about an inch or two across. So that's a large insect, right? This may not be the same sort that was living in this thing, if this is a termite mound or whatever. Now this one here looks like it's another one. It's the same size as that one I just showed you. And it's actually broken and the, the, the insect mound is split open. And what we are seeing here are the internal spiral-like structures that go round and round inside the insect mound. That's what I think we're looking at here. And this would probably go right down into the ground and the insects would use this as a, an air vent for air conditioning. Now, as I've said before in videos, termites and other insects are very good at this. What they do, basically, they collect material which they then grow fungi on and they eat the fungi. They may also eat other insects, but basically they collect food material and they take them down into the, the base of the mound where they grow a culture on this food material, which they then feed their offspring with, okay? And feed the workers with. They suddenly eat a kind of fungi. Um, now this may be still going on on Mars. We don't know if there is material there to eat, like other insects, for instance, then they could hijack those insects, take them down into the nest, and then grow fungi off them, okay? And perhaps low-level plant material, there may even be plant material in the ground, like a type of fungi or moss or something similar that they could use to actually grow fungus from and then eat. So this looks like a termite mound. So there are other examples, there are a few in the area, and there is stuff like petrified wood as well, so that there may be a source there for termites to eat. Um, there's petrified wood, so there may be wood under the, in the ground that's very old in the permafrost that's still edible, okay? In an edible condition. So that is possible for insects to eat or lay their eggs in and stuff like that. So there are, there are multiple examples of these. And there's even one sticking up here, uh, which a lot of people said was a tree trunk. And I, I speculated that it might be, but I don't think it is. I think this is more likely an insect mound, or perhaps just a rock. It could be a tree trunk, but when you look at it, 
it's got a sort of structure to it, more like a, a, um, a termite mound or something like that. I could be wrong. So there are other examples. We've got large insects. This is tiny, this one. This is only a few millimetres, probably two, right? But the camera was right next to it, right? So this is fossilised, right? we got a, flying, a possible flying insect near the rover, which is probably a few inches across, okay? That's only about two or three inches, maybe, possibly smaller, right? That could be a bug of some sort, a flying bug. Then we have the giant insect, the one that I found, this one here, and you can even see the mandibles on the front of it. So there, are, there may be some still alive up there. It seems that there are some flying around. Um, I have shown pictures of birds flying around as well, so perhaps they're feeding on them as well. So there does seem to be some kind of low-level food chain going on on Mars, and uh, there may even be people still left underground as well, and I have shown one or two people peering at the rover from behind rocks and stuff as well, so I think there is something still going on there. And just because the the the, um, the atmosphere is 95% uh, carbon dioxide doesn't mean they can't breathe. Because CO2, carbon dioxide, contains oxygen molecules. So they may have a, a different breathing system, slightly different to ours, which can actually separate those molecules from the carbon dioxide. That is highly possible. And uh, we have plenty of things down here, like plants that live on carbon dioxide, so that is possible. So there we are. So we have... Some little, what possibly might be little bugs here. We have some rendering on a brick wall that's broken on a stone wall with, with uh, plaster or concrete render on it. We have what looks a bit like an insect nest. Let's take one last look at that quickly. Just here, where they look like they were crawling out of here before they were preserved after the cataclysm. Frozen probably and then encrusted in, in uh, volcanic ash and dust and crap and then basically turned into a kind of time capsule, almost showing what they were doing as the cataclysm struck. Very interesting. And then we have this dude here, who looks kind of reptilian to me, um, and is more likely to be a specimen rather than a carving, I think. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you soon.